It appears the groups of suspects pulled up in a white Hyundai sedan and started to shoot out the vehicle. As the vehicle sped away, another group in attendance at the graduation started shooting back at the fleeing car. It appears the groups of suspects may be known to each other. The group in attendance that fired on the Honda fled the scene in a white Mercedes sedan. Kent County Sheriff's detectives are developing suspects from the video and we believe that there were as many as five shooters in this incident. The white Mercedes was located in the city of Grand Rapids during the overnight hours and is now in our possession and being processed. The white Hyundai was located abandoned on the 6100 block of Kalamazoo Avenue. This Hyundai was a stolen vehicle out of the city of Kaplan. Bullet holes were found in this vehicle and is now being processed by the Sheriff's Office. It's believed that this white Hyundai has been involved in previous um, stolen vehicle theft incidents. 16-year-old male was shot in the wrist. He's been released from the hospital. A 40-year-old female was shot in the abdomen and the wrist. It is in stable condition, but still hospitalized. This was an obviously brazen act as it jeopardized the safety of many of our community members. Police were already on scene for the event and additional resources were on scene within one minute. This appears to be a targeted shooting and no additional threats towards students or staff have been found. We continue to ask the community to help identify anyone they know was involved and help bring closure to this event. Any photo or video evidence can be uploaded via our Sheriff's Office link and will be published um, by multiple media outlets and our Facebook page. Stadiums here, parking lots here, the actual high schools behind me, if you will. White cars in the middle, it's starting to fire rounds here. And there's that group that exits the stadium that are out there somewhere and they're shooting back at that car. The trauma of violence to a community is pervasive. And it's something that we always have to be conscious of. That's why it's so important to bring these kinds of cases to resolution as soon as possible, because it avoids um, further victimization. And it avoids the unknown of having an outstanding risk that um, has to be factored into.